is how to get multiple images and put them on top of each other or like have them in front and back and wherever you want to call it so press your first shops open file new and let's say I don't know images I don't really care preset photo again if you want and defaults and okay uh, getting an abstract background because they're quite nice and let's say this one this time Come on, copy it <coughs> control paste it into it and then drag to where you want so let's say about mm, there make sure the move tool is selected then we can start getting some images so let's say let's get the YouTube logo copy that what the ok that image didn't work too good let's copy this one Ctrl V in edit transform scale to make it a tad bigger hold shift so it stays in line I see let's go down a bit shift to make it a bit bigger get back on the move tool and apply Go to the magic background, uh, magic eraser tool, move the background, and move the white if you want. And if you've got any other loose bits, just go back, erase the tool, and then just rub them out. Move tool, move it to where you want it. Get another image, preferably uh, with some font or something, so let's say. Um, I don't know, Facebook. Let's save this one. Copy the image, Control V into here, and keep the background if you want, and then go. Where is it? Arrange, layer, arrange, and send backward, and uh, have it. Have it below somewhere about here if you want get another image um, what should we say let's say windows logo oh let's see let's just take that 12 it again get a little white background by holding this and clicking the magic eraser tool and get rid of the little white bit Oh crap. Control said we're any mistakes. Move tool, move up so you're happy with it. No, I'm not. So I'm going to go to the eraser tool again and get rid of this. That's better. You have it and it's behind again. So let's say we can have Windows. Let's have it like that. Let's move the Facebook one actually around to about here. Let's move this about around here. Let's get one more image, and then let's get a an actual image. So let's say the Apple logo. Oops. Let's say this one. Copy the image. Control V. Um, edit transform if you're not happy with the um, about the look of it. And like I said, you can get rid of the background again just by going to the image creator. And this it will still be behind, but if you want it in front of the Facebook or behind, it will just default you put it behind one so let's bring it back another layer again so it's just like that, let's move the Facebook and tag one to the left now you have it, you have one, two, three, four, five images and all the separate images are on top of each other so that's how you arrange images in order and get their backgrounds off again.